I'm Wild Sports Editor Jeremiah Jonkin. I'm on my Class 4A football tour. I'm here with Sheridan High Coach Don Julian. Coach, you, know, you guys are coming off a state championship season. You know, is it a little easier to get guys uh, motivated to work hard uh, coming off the, the state championship? You know, we're we're off to a good start. I feel good about our attitude and our effort, and and uh, I think it I think it definitely plays into that. Um, you know, we've we've had a lot of good success here, and so it's 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 fairly traditional. But but the kids are really into it right now. We're having a good start. Right. What have you seen out of your ball club through the first uh, three days that, uh, that that pleases you so far? Well, part of it is the effort. Um, you know, we're not having to get after them uh, very much, even though they're they're really tired right now and re very sore and so forth. But uh, we put in a good summer, came in in pretty good shape, and uh, um, you know, so so I'm pleased with that. Uh, we've got pretty good depth in the lines, and and that's always nice, especially for us because we battle that depth a little bit. Um, got about 63 kids sophomore and up, uh, which is, uh, uh, you know, about where we've been, but, but a decent number for us. Uh, senior class is a little bit small, um, but, uh, you know, the younger guys are filling in well. So, uh, so far, you know, I, I feel pretty good about uh, uh, what's, what's showing up. You mentioned the lines, and you know I know lines are, are pivotal each year. You know every football coach will tell you that's where things start, both offensively and defensively, is with the line. But uh, you know, looking at your team and, and what you guys graduated from last year, you know, quarterback Blake Godwin, you know, uh, running back Evan Coon, receivers Dante Crow and, and Coy Steele. You know, the, the, those are you. You've lost all those po skill position guys, but you ha where you have the bulk of your returners, it seems, is on the lines. Is that maybe even more more important this year than in years past? You know, as as you break in some new guys at those skill positions. Well, you know, it's where games are won and lost most of the time is up front and and so we're very excited to have some depth there um, we lost several very good linemen also but uh, but we feel like that's a, a group we can kind of build on uh, right now and, and you know I've been in during my career I've had several of these situations where you're losing a very good class with a lot of numbers um, a class that might be coming off a championship and so forth and and the next class in it's 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 an interesting dynamic it's kind of like a middle child syndrome or a, uh, you know that, that for years they've heard about that class in front of them and, and hope you win it when you're a junior because you probably aren't going to get it done as a senior and so forth and and they've really they've really um, thought about that a lot and I think they want to I think they want to be a different group and and uh, you know see how far they can take this thing. Well, who were some of the studs on those lines that, uh, you know, we're really going to know their names uh, and, and they're going to stand out this year? Well, we got a young Baker, uh, you know, Blake's little brother. Uh, shouldn't say little. He's bigger than Blake. And uh, he's uh, he's returning. He started for us a year ago at the right tackle. He's coming back. He's a junior. Jacob Hallam is our sole returning All-Stater. And he's been starting for us for two years. Uh, Two years on the D line and, and a year ago in the O line, um, and and he's at the guard. We've got a, a young man named Jacob Boynt, or excuse me, named Andrew Boynt, who uh, that's his little brother. Uh, Andrew Boynt is is played a lot last year at guard. He'll be our center. Um, and as you work through the list, there's just there's just a lot of guys positioning themselves and a lot of. Uh, a lot of competition going on, so I'm really pleased with that. And I've left multiple guys out. That's why I try not to say too many names. But but those are some guys that are coming to mind right now. Well, like I said, you know, you guys graduated a lot of skill position players last year, so there are obviously you know going to be a lot of new names there. Have you guys had guys through you know uh, camp this summer and through practice early on that have really emerged and and taken hold of those those starting roles? Yeah, we we have. Um, you know, Coy Steele is probably the returner with the with the most experience. Although he got hurt in Game Four a year ago, um, on his way to maybe a record-breaking season here in, in Sheridan and, and blew a knee up. Um, so he got to watch all that stuff, and so he's come back with a fury. Uh, he's ready to go. Um, uh, you know, our quarterback Drew Bodecker was playing a receiver for us uh, behind Blake Godwin last year, and and so he really has a good understanding of things, and and we're very excited about him. Kyle Custis is the running back who's back with the most experience. You know, we had two great backs a year ago, um, but Kyle was able to get some some reps there, and and so he's coming back real strong. Um, young Aaron Sessions, uh, another Sessions boy with us. Uh, is, is probably might be the fastest kid we have on the team at, out at receiver. And Hayden Hastings is an All-American wrestler um, who's, who's playing some receiver. And so, you know, the, there's a lot of guys who got some good experience last year. You just didn't really hear about them or know about them because 
uh, we had we had guys in front of them that were really getting getting most of the glory. Well, I appreciate the subtle correction because I'd already graduated Coy Steele, so I, I appreciate well, you mentioning his name. Coy. I'm not ready to lose Coy yet. <laughs> well, you know, he like you said, I mean, you know, he suffered a pretty gnarly knee injury last year uh, in in the middle of the season, but uh, you know, I know that he was back out on the baseball diamond and that sort of thing, so he's back to physical activity and, and giving it full go. You know, how's he looked so far? You know, is he is he kind of back to normal, or is he there's still maybe a little bit of rust? He needs to knock off a little bit of confidence. He needs to get back in the knee and that sort of thing, or is he just kind of good to go? Well, the knee is really good. I mean, he he really rehabbed. We did that. That surgery right away a week about a week after it happened because um, he wanted to get that rehab going he did a good job with that um, you know he hasn't been used to much lateral movement so he's pretty sore right now just because uh, of two a days basically and not being able to do as much of that over the summer um, but yeah he's going to be fine and, and the knee's good to go well, and you, we were talking just a little bit about the, uh, you know, the addition to the school here. Uh, you know, what all does that include, and how has that sh changed things for you guys? Well, we're so so proud and excited to have this. Uh, you know, our locker rooms were in really bad shape, um, with not even at code anymore, and and our training room was basically non-existent. It was an old office that was converted into a training room, and so we have uh, we went to work and raised uh, over a million dollars privately. Um, the school district through major maintenance uh, took a big role in that and, and we're just about done. We've got our locker rooms done, our meeting rooms done, our laundry room uh, done um, and, and they're, they're going to be done in about two and a half weeks with the PE locker rooms and the new, brand new training room uh, and a new visitor locker room. So we're really excited. We added 9,000 square feet to our building. Um, it's it's going to be really rocking and rolling here this fall and the kids are doing a great job of taking care of it and being very appreciative of it. Well, Coach Julian, as always, uh, you know, roll out the welcome wagon for me and show me some great hospitality, so I really appreciate it. For the 4A Football Tour, I'm Wyo Sports Editor Jeremiah Jonke. We'll see you in Gillette.